Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from ICM. So this is a 148 scale release and I guess it will be familiar to some of you because we reviewed the previous version of this unusual aircraft. You can find video review on our YouTube channel but today we have a BQM-34A. It's also a Fire B with a trailer but as you can see we have a slightly different nose part and that's actually the final let's say version of this kit so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video review and we are going to open it together and check what is actually supplied in this nice box first of all box size is standard for this brand here you can see comparison with my hand it's surprisingly small for a 148 scale release but let's not forget that this is just a target drone so that's why it does not need any huge packaging we also have a kit number here it's 48 401 and of course box art itself is really beautiful i'm still wondering when icm will start producing the posters because it's really cool images they're let's say hiding from us and it would be cool to place one of them on the wall Next, on the side here, we have some information about the kit. So, of course, it's an unassembled plastic kit. There are 34 plastic parts. And, of course, you will need glue and paint in order to assemble everything together. Here you can see the sidewall. And here we have four marking options included inside. So, it is quite a good choice for a 148 scale set. Even though three out of four are finished in an orange color. But let's not forget that this is a traditional color choice for a target drone in US aircraft and that's why there is no surprise in that but white aircraft is really unusual in my opinion and as for the packaging we also have everything sealed with the tape so I'm going to cut through it and we will check everything together in the meantime I can also remind you that you can support us with a small donation it's quite easy thing to do because we have a special donate button or support DSV button on our website it's a big red button so it will be easy to find and of course it's done via PayPal so it should be safe quick and you will be the one defining how much we will get for a new kit or maybe for new photo and video equipment who knows and of course you saw that some members are supporting us for example Niki or Johan and I'm really glad for this because it helps us to grow it helps us to get some new interesting models which we were not able to get before by the way here you can see the uh, we have the color printed top lid and then we have sturdy white cardboard box it actually protects everything inside and if I open it here is what we have inside so all parts are packed into the same plastic bag we also have assembly manual folded in half because it's printed in large format but I'm going to open the plastic bag first and straight away I can say that there are no clear parts whatsoever. Some others will be happy to hear this because it will save you some time from masking or cutting masks or searching for some templates. And here we start with the smallest gray plastic sprue in this kit. So if I zoom in here you can see that we have parts for the special trailer which will be actually used in order to display this target drone because otherwise it will be just wobbling from side to side and that's really cool that it is included out of the box you don't have to buy anything extra and I think with careful painting and weathering you will get a really convincing uh, stand if we can call it so for your model here by the way you can check these parts from the opposite side so road wheels they have this special guiding elements there is a rice tab as you can see so it will be easy to align them together and I can show them from the opposite side so they look more or less okay for out of the box build we also have some rivets on the supports so everything looks great in my opinion next we continue with a bigger plastic frame and that's the second and that's the last gray plastic frame here and as you can guess we have almost all parts for the drone itself so two big fuselage house separate wings also this special engine nozzle which will be inserted inside and what else tail wings tail fin as far as you can see here so we can zoom in so that you can check everything closer 
And first of all, note that attachment points are really thin. Next, here on the fuselage half, for example, you can see really nice panel lines and rivets, which should look even better after some careful painting and weathering. The same applies to wing parts and tail wings. Note that, for example, this frontal air intake section is molded as a single piece part, which is really cool because you won't have any gaps in this area. And here we have another fuselage half, and that's really funny how the nose section is actually tilted downwards and if I flip it over here inside we have guiding elements implemented not as a guiding pins but as a guiding tabs that's why I'm well we also have some pins so they're not that noticeable but I saw also tabs here and overall well it is easy to guess that there are nothing to place inside, so that's why they're empty inside. And that's also something what will attract some maneuvers because you don't have to waste your time trying to, you know, let's say, paint something inside, paint some cockpit parts, etc. etc. You just focus on the external marking. And that's really cool because it might speed up the whole assembly process and give you an interesting model as a result. Next, we continue with decals. And for the decals, we have a small decal sheet. All symbols for four marking options are printed here. And printing quality is really nice, even though it's traditionally not mentioned where it was printed. But there is nothing to worry about. ACM decals are easy to work with, so I don't think you will have any issues whatsoever. And next, we continue with the assembly manual. So if I zoom out a bit more, here we have a classic a cover printed brochure with a short history note on the cover. Next we have parts map and note that even some parts won't be used. That's really surprising. We have cardboard piece here. So assembly process starts with an engine and you have to assemble it out of two halves and then insert between fuselage halves. And note that you have to cut the tail fin for the marking option number four. We also have the top section of the fuselage molded separately, which is also quite a handy feature because you won't have any gaps in this area. Next, we continue with wing installation and also some tail surfaces. And then we start working on the uh, special trailer for this aircraft. As you can see, it should be assembled out of several parts, but it's quite an easy process, so I don't think you'll encounter any issues. Next, we continue with the first marking option. It's a US Navy aircraft. And second and third marking option, they come also from US Navy. And this one is from US Air Force, obviously, because it's written on the fuselage. And one more, this white aircraft is from the thousands. And that's actually quite interesting because I guess it's still used as a target practice drone and that's really cool because you can copy it in your build. As for the whole kit, it should be already available. You can get it, for example, in Modelimax webshop. And of course, I will be happy to hear your opinion about such a list. Do not forget to write it here in the comment section below. If you like this video, press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye.